Hello, I am back. Wearing red again, and I should have put a different colour on because now all the thumbnails are going to look exactly the same. It doesn't matter. Things like that do not matter. What does matter is that you're here, I'm here. <sighs> We're just going to chill out and take a moment to just decompress. Looking at the news, looking around at everything going on in the world, it is a lot. And I just wanted to make this video a little bit of peace for you, for me, for anyone that needs it. Just like a little coping, a little coping break. Oh, <laughs> Gary C. It's funny how some people cope by throwing themselves into work, by pouring themselves into other people and just losing themselves. But when we sit back and, and we take stock of things, it helps us to deal with what's going on. I have spent a lot of my years, a long time, burying things, busy in myself. I've always been an anxious person. I have, I've been, always been a very nervous person. But it wasn't until sort of 2008 when I had like a breakdown. Um, I'd had breaks before that, but they'd all been like very like on the down low, very like internal and just keep going, keep going and punishing myself and pressurizing every situation. But it was only until that point that I just snapped and just, I remember writing a song about the day. It's called Sink or Swim. And um, the lyrics are, as I sit here looking back, thinking this way here and then, in the kitchen on my knees, save me, please, please. And that was because I just broke down in the kitchen and I just, and I was just sat there on the, like, I just remember just being broken. And I see a lot of people like that on social media or in the comments of these videos. And speaking of which, it is very difficult for me to reply to every single comment, especially ones that are actually quite like sensitive and sometimes they can be quite triggering. So if I've liked it with the little heart, it means I've seen it. Um, because I've put this pressure on myself to reply to everything again. And I need to remember that I am human. I can't reply to everything. With the lockdowns, with the pandemic, with, with everything going on, I think, you just have to look around, bring those, draw those people close to you that love you and you know that are there for you. What's happening with my voice? Don't cry. And, and just weather the storm. It's not about just keep going though, just keep, keep, keeping on. You need to, I think we all need to take stock of what's happening and be aware of how we're feeling because if we don't touch base with ourselves and check in with ourselves then I fear that we're gonna just harbour all these emotions and bury some of the trauma and and people use the word trauma quite lightly on social media but trauma can be anything it can be something that's a significant event it could be something that um, changed your life it could be anything that has like shifted the way you are. Um, and I think the pandemic is a trauma that we're all collectively going through. Now that sounds very dramatic, but it's a very dramatic thing. It's a, like the fact that our social freedoms have been almost taken away, like it's for our own good. But, and so, to an extent, I get some of the protests around the world because people just don't know what to do with themselves. And many of the people protesting and stuff, they're not people that are used to being indoors. They're people that are used to doing what they want, when they want. So it's like their entire life has shifted gear and they're just like in a state of shock. And I get it, I do understand that. For someone like me that spends a lot of their time indoors in my room, hello, magical prison that I created for myself, Oh, that was a lot. Uh, I 
I welcomed the lockdown at first. I did. I was like, well, I don't need to give excuses when I'm having really bad anxiety or panic days to, to friends. Um, I, I, there's a pandemic. I'm staying indoors. And I get that some of you are just like, I want my life back. I want my life back. And that's all right to feel like that because you are losing something. Like, it is something that we all took for granted, don't get me wrong. Like, my birthday showed me that. Like, the luxury of just texting everyone and going, oh, I'm not doing something big this year, I'm just going to do, like, a meal, and that's it. Like, even that was out of reach. And, and it made me think, wow, just a meal is not just a meal. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's... That, that coming together actually has currency now. Like, it actually has something. There's, like, some there's some weight to it. There's a bit of dust. Oi. Um, and all, loads of my friends have said, like, oh, once all this is over, we'll we'll do something together in London or, or come visit me or, or stuff like that. And it's, like, the idea that just seeing your friend is like a Disney world or a Disneyland, do you know what I mean? It's like something like to aim for, it's like a treat. <laughs> Whereas before it was just like, you're coming round, um, you're coming round, you're coming round, you're staying, you're staying over, la, la, la. Um, it's madness, isn't it? But I do think we need to focus on the now. As I would say with anyone with anxiety, try to be present and just take each day as it comes. It's actually quite difficult for people to keep asking, when are you gonna go back to Disney? When are you gonna go back to Disney? And I get it, people love the Disney vlogs and they like seeing us together. But it's actually quite hard for me to keep seeing that and people being asked that every day, all day. Like when I do a live Instagram, it's just constant throughout the hour. And I get it, I get it. And I, and I don't begrudge you it, but in terms of how I feel about it, it is beginning to make me just really sort of, wow. I don't know. And, and I kind of pride myself in being honest with you and being able to answer your questions and things like that. And I just don't know. And that's what I think a lot of people are struggling with. It's the unknowing. It's the fact that there's a lack of control. And we have our little bubbles and our, and our, our space that we're in control of on a daily basis and our families and where we go, how we work and, and our pacing and just the way we walk through life. But to have that disrupted, to have the unknown, it's the unknown that as someone with anxiety that generates a lot of anxiety with my overthinking and stuff. And I think that's bleeding out into society. People just don't know where they stand. They don't know what Christmas is gonna be. So my advice, is to not shoulda, woulda, coulda. Stop overthinking and thinking, like obviously you need to plan for Christmas or just get the presents in. I'd say get the presents in and just think, Christmas is likely to be different this year. My birthday, it was different this year. But I think with the right people and the right mindset, you can navigate it. it it's not gonna be the same, it's not. like when the Disney trips have been cancelled and, and the little mini breaks and stuff that we had planned, Adam and I, it is disappointing, but I don't know whether this like undercuts, because on one hand I'm saying like, like acknowledge your feelings, your feelings are valid. But then on the other hand I'm saying, oh, like wise up, like there's bigger things, people are dying out there. It's strange to use that phrase, bring people in, like gather round but we can't gather, we can't hug, we can't do what we're told to do at Christmas. We can't celebrate how we're used to celebrating. And that's difficult. And that's another barrier, like a boundary to like smash through with the way you feel about it. But we will get those hugs, we will see those people. And that's what I need to keep telling myself and almost convince myself I was, I saw a thing um, about Shawn Mendes, uh, the trailer for his documentary that's coming uh, to Netflix. And he said about positive affirmation, he just repeats things to himself. Like he, he wrote in a journal again and again, like my voice is in good health. Like 
and he just kept writing it and writing it and writing it and he convinced himself and he, and he felt better about himself and his ability. And I feel like on some level, by tweeting positive things, by sharing things that make fill us joy on social media, we can look back and feel good about those things and make other people feel good and feel lighter, brighter and just ready to enjoy the festive season rather than just looking at it as it's not going to be the same. Acknowledge it's not going to be the same and say, we're going to have a different Christmas, a different festive season, but it's still going to be ours and we're going to make it special. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Mwah.